Hello everybody and welcome to Edge Shed. In this video I'm going to be looking at how you go about claiming guild halls and how you then go about upgrading them. I'm not going to get into too much detail on the upgrading side of things but I will just briefly explain how it actually works and some of the things that you're probably going to want to think about because it can be very expensive. But to start off with I'm just going to look at the actual claiming of guild halls. Now this, you're obviously going to need the appropriate rank to do it. Um, I'm not sure of the exact permission that's needed to, to get it, but I'm sure if you have a fiddle round, you'll be able to figure that out for yourselves. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to Posterner's Ward. And that you'll be able to see in the video now I'm standing by, and it's in Lion's Arch. You're then going to speak to an NPC there called, I think it's Sarah McKenzie. And this one is going to allow you to start the whole guild expedition, which is where you're going to be able to claim the guild hall. You're going to need 100 gold and 150 favour to start this. If you're not sure how to get favour, you actually get it through your guild missions. I think that's a new currency that they've added in for Heart of Thorns. And a lot of them are sort of PvP based. So you're probably going to need to get into World v World or into just a ranked PvP match. I think unranked also works, but custom arenas unfortunately don't. So one of the ones that we did to earn the favor was actually a world versus world claim a point and or capture a point and hold it. Something to note about this particular mission is you don't actually have to claim the point because you can only do that once you've upgraded to have a war room in your guild hall. So once we've got the mission all set up, you're going to need to obviously go to the Heart of Maguma, which is the um, the first region that you go into with Heart of Thorns. And up in the top left hand corner, you'll be able to see the Guild Hall. Um, you're going to need to have a glider to actually get down to it, and it will help a lot of people, or it will help in the Guild Hall mission to claim it. If you also have updraft and bouncing mushrooms, and I believe if you've also got the exalted's ability to use the teleporters, that's a benefit again. But if you don't have them, we managed to do it with most people just running and catching up with the people that did have sort of all the upgraded glider abilities. So once you're into your guild hall, what's going to happen is there will be a sort of timed event where you're going to have to kill Mordremonth Vines and for every 10 players you've got in there you're going to get another Mordremonth Vine um, spawning. So if you've got under 10 that's fine but if you get to about 11 then you're going to have two of these Vines spawning and then it can be quite difficult because you are going to sort of need about 10 players on each we um we did eventually do it. We ended up actually reducing the number of players we had, so we just had one vine to contend with, and we would um j just race to it and kill it. You've got three minutes and thirty seconds to kill one of these vines before it releases its poison. If it releases its poison, then you failed that particular event, and you come a little bit closer to failing the whole event together. You're going to want to have a lot of skills that are actually providing you with swiftness because that's going to allow you to get to them very quickly, but obviously you also still need to balance up being combat effective and having this swiftness. So if you are able to then kill these um, vine tentacles in enough time, then you're going to have to fight a um, vine wraith knight. Now this, I believe it's around about every 15 players that you actually get a second vine wraith knight. So it was no problem for us to bring a few more people back into the instance to help us kill this one. And it wasn't that difficult. You have to try and get the armor off it initially. But once you've managed to take the armor off it, then you can, you can just wail on it and it'll go down pretty quickly. Now that you've managed to actually secure your guild hall, you're going to want to go about upgrading it. And the first upgrade is obviously the tavern. Because why not? So, the first things that you're going to need for this are elder wood planks, mithril ingots, bottles of Alonian wine, 10 empty kegs, 50 glass mugs, 20 obsidian shards, 25 bolts of silk, 100 crude thick leather squares, 10 bolts of gosma, 
and 10 cured hides. You're also going to need 100 favor to do this. Now, something to really bear in mind here is the empty kegs and the glass mugs are very, very expensive at the moment I'm making this video. But the raw materials are very easily come by. The flax seeds that you're going to need to make the vials of silk or the vials of seed something or other. I'll make sure that you can see this in the video at the time I'm doing it. You're going to be able to get them just by getting flax seeds in effect. The flax seeds are the most important part for you to get on them. And they're very common in any of the jungle regions. The glass mugs, on the other hand, require a coarse sand of some description. And you can basically get this by running the Silver Wastes um, event. And as you're unlocking um, loot boxes and as you're sifting through the piles of sand that you get there, you're going to be getting lots of this coarse sand dust stuff that you're able to make into lumps of glass and eventually into glass mugs. Um, what we ended up doing was we actually purchased the glass mugs and the empty kegs, but they're extremely expensive at the minute because every other guild is doing the exact same thing and one of our and one of the people in our guild actually spent around about 500 gold buying all of the glass mugs for this. So um, yeah, we've sort of named our tavern after her. So um, that pretty much concludes how you go about upgrading it. Oh, I suppose you probably want to know how you actually put the abilities or put the items into the upgrade section. And anybody can contribute to this, they just need to find the relevant NPC all go to the treasurer NPC and you can place them in there so that, that's very straightforward and you should be able to find that pretty easily so I hope this has been of some help to you and I hope that your guild manages to get their guild hall up and running quickly and um, yeah thanks for watching I will see you around